Hello, welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for selecting my channel on the amazing amount of millions of channels available on YouTube. Yes, you see in front of you a crab and turntable worthy pen. I hope the light is showing off that amazing orange acrylic. You may recognize it. It's a Delike New Moon. And yes, it's my second one. And the other one I have right here is also extremely visually entertaining, a joy to behold. So I had to get another one. Maybe this might make it to Pen Pal, who also enjoys orange pens and bent nibs. Here's the auction where I got it from, and it oh, looks like Bobby's the only one selling this version of the New Moon. I would call this the regular version. They make a small one, which is sometimes called the Model 3 or New Moon, New Moon 3, so that one's a little small. Doug didn't like it. This is not a large pen, but it is well made, and I think it's comfortable to write with and has an amazing nib. So we're going to explore this pen, discuss what I like and don't like. You know, everybody seems to say that, so I'll say it. You know, I always do it anyway, so no reason to say I'm going to do it. Uh, so that's it. Mr. Crab is going to give you a wink and we'll move on. I'm going to show you what happens when we start turning off some of the LED lights. I just think this resin is phenomenal to look at in your hands. And as the light changes, the resin changes. Also, the camera adjusts for the level of light. But as we turn off the main set of lights, we'll see it adjust. And this is a solar powered turntable, so slowly it will stop turning because it doesn't have enough photons hitting those solar cells to power that motor. We slowly stop. It's a nice big cap band, certainly protects it, and it is sufficiently labeled the Delike New Moon. Easy to read. Uh, the, all the plating is done nicely. That clip is very functional. It's really on the stiff side, but that way once you put it in your pocket, it won't come out. Here I've disassembled the uh, New Moon, and I'm happy with the way it was put together. Yes, there is that rubber spring in there that's like an agitator that collar just comes off and we can take out the spring and I can put it in my bag of springs. This is a uh, number five uh, nib assembly, pretty typical. I like the way that converter has a nice insert in there, a nice metal band around it. Fits nice and tight. Here we go with a section with a metal ring at one end and then, and then also this metal insert at the other end. And these threads in the metal insert are what take this nib assembly. And you may have noticed right there at the bottom is a very small O-ring, which I put on. There was just a groove there, so if it had an O-ring, it certainly didn't make it to me with one. But I put it in there because I like to have that seal up well, so no ink. It's the nib assembly and the section. So we're going to go dark and bring in the LED. As we mentioned, this is a very nice resin. Well, compared to other oranges that I have, but you know, it has that interesting pearlescence. You can see it's there on both sides, but not there. It's the polarity of the resin. It's fairly clear and transparent. Now it's just glued together. 
So it's going to seal up, but I don't know how well. There's no ledge there to seal up against the section. My other new moon uh, seems to work out okay. You know, this section is nice. Same material as the pen. And we can see those two metal bits and they're glued in place. Well, the barrel also has that nice chatoyancy to it. And it's just a straight through run, nothing special on the inside. So let's do a comparison. So we're going to show some other pens that I think are in the orange family. Here's a color wheel that we can hopefully look and see if you're seeing orange. I certainly am. So here at the bottom we have the New Moon, followed with the orange Pen BBS 352, a Jinhao 100, a Hong Dion, which is more yellow than orange, and I would say this is also more yellow. This is a pen I haven't discussed much, but it's just there to show another interesting resin. And Mr. Heinz's Creamsicle, which has orange and white in it. And then a Decograph in an orange anodized finish. So a great range in the orange family. I do think that the New Moon certainly is as orange as any of these pens are. Follow it up with the Pen BBS pen. Yes, we have two crabs on a turntable worthy pens. The new moon <clears throat> pens definitely use great resins. Uh, got to, you know, either make a smaller version. Sometimes they call it the new moon three, but just check out the dimensions. We'll give you the lengths of these so you can put those in perspective. But I think they're very well made pens. Feel good in the hand. A little on the small side, but sometimes that's fine. I always get bent nibs. Some people get extra fines and fines. My experience with the Moon Man extra fine has not been rewarding, so I stay away from it. I have other extra fine nibs that I enjoyed, so I don't need a nib in here that I may need to work on to get it to write the way I'd like it to write. So we're just going to let them twirl around a little bit. I really enjoyed going to dark mode, so let's see what that does. As the colors change, and as less photons hit those solar cells, the turntable gets less energy. And now we are in dark mode completely. Well, never completely. And we are t slowly coming to rest. Hopefully you enjoy that. I certainly enjoy it. And these are certainly very nice looking pens. Let's write with one of them. So what ink to use? Well, this is the ink that we're going to use. You'll understand that in a minute. It comes in a small bottle, one ounce versus three ounce, which is the normal size. But it's a very, very clean dark purple and it also has that eternal characteristic which after it dries there's no movement so this is uncertain pigmented ink but you can see how clean that color is and it shows up in the writing it writes very well let's take a look yes this pen is a little bit on the small side we'll give you the lengths the cap comes off in more turns than it should. Damn, over three. I lose count after three. And you'll see something unusual. It doesn't look like the section it was on there originally. Yes, I took the section from the stained glass model, put it into here. The threads were a little tight, but um, I think it's just that... Uh, these barrel threads here might be a little bit off, but that's fine. It, it fit. I mean, this is usable, unposted. It might be a little short. The weight's a little light, but not bad. And it does post 
deeply and securely and makes for uh, certainly a long enough pen to fit anybody's hand and that is a secure well not real secure but it's going to be good enough to post for most people we'll give you those section dimensions it's actually uh, feels okay in the hand it's about the smallest type of diameter of a section I enjoy but you can hold it anywhere you don't feel those threads there's really no major step up so you have a lot of flexibility and that is a, a bent nib uh, not uh, it's a little bit more bent than the pen BBS ones but it's not certainly a food a in any stretch of the imagination from my viewpoint so let's see how that nib lays down that nice noodler's purple ink yes it is a smooth writer lays down a very consistent line so unfortunately when I wrote this part um, didn't quite record properly so that's why I showed that initial live writing and now we're going to go back to writing that I did before I mean so it's in every direction up down left and right it just smooth say it's medium wet this is a fairly dry ink so that's probably about as wet as you're going to get with this type of uh, nib design you know it says extra fine on it and you can see that slight upturn and that really makes it write well so how do we rate this pen I give it a 9.3 I give it one check for the design the build uh, the look and one and a half checks for the nib this is not a pen for everybody but I'm certain that if this uh, hits a couple right notes with you <laughs> pun then it might be a pen you'd want to take a look at so coming to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate every viewer. I love comments. You know, interact. It makes the a whole experience more enjoyable. Hopefully you can find a great pen and nib and ink that just encourages you to put some lines on paper. It could be words, scribbles, doodles. Find something. So we've reached the end of this video. I hope it finds all of you safe, healthy, and happy. Enjoy every day. Enjoy writing with your pens. We're going to say bye until the next video. And I really do enjoy how this pen writes.